What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Today we are going to be finishing up our money entity by creating a check command to drop a specified amount of money as well as displaying that amount of money that was dropped above the entity itself. So let's get right into this and open up a few files. We want the shared and cl underscore init files for the money entity as well as the init file for the game mode itself. And to start off, let's open up the game modes init file and add in a function that will go and allow us to check what a player says in chat. So let's just scroll on down to the bottom here. Now to get this to work, we can use the built-in GM player say function. So it'll be function GM colon player say like so. And this will take in two arguments, a player, which we will call POI and also the text representing what the player said in chat. And end that off. Now the first thing we want to do in here is we want to go about splitting up what they say in chat by the space. So in order to do this, we just use local player message equals string dot explode. Then what we want to split it by, in this case, we're splitting by a space. So we just do an empty string with a space in there and text like so. Now with that, we can go and check to see if the command, which is in the first position of this player message table is actually slash drop money. So to do this, we do if player message and it's the first position equal equals slash drop money. Then we can check to make sure that the first argument, which should be the amount to drop is actually a number. So if to number player message to, which will contain that first argument, then we can go and do whatever we need to do. Now, if this returns nil, then we know that it's not a number. Otherwise we know it's a number. And if that is the case, then we can create a couple of variables, local amount equals to number. Once again, the player message, the second value within that table, which will contain the argument or the amount argument. And then as well as that, we want a player balance variable. So local player balance equals POI colon get NWint the network that we want to get, which is player money. And now with those variables, we can go ahead, create another if statement that will check if amount is greater than zero, because we don't want a player dropping a negative amount of money or zero for that matter. And the amount is less than or equal to the player balance because we don't want them dropping more money than they have. Now, if all of those checks are successful, we can go and remove the amount of money from that player's balance using POI colon set NWint player money, then player balance minus amount. That'll go ahead, remove however much money they drop using that slash drop money command from their balance and we can then create the entity with that amount and spawn it on the ground in front of that player using scripted underscore ents dot get the class name for this entity, which is money. Then we want to call the spawn function, which will be this guy right here. And as you can see, it takes in three arguments. So we also need to pass in three arguments, which will be a player the player's eye trace using the player variable or PLY colon get eye trace. And then the class name of the entity, which once again is just money. And also while we are at it, let's set the value using colon set value to amount. This will go ahead and set this variable right here. The last thing we want to do in this function now is to return an empty string so nothing gets displayed in the chat whenever this command is run. And we'll just do that right below this if statement using return then double quotes for an empty string. So now whenever somebody runs this command and they have the correct argument with it, it will not be displayed in the chat. 
And with all that done, let's head to our share.lua file to make a quick change. Like I said last time, we only temporarily wanted to be able to spawn the money entity from the Q menu, so let's no longer make that an option by changing the true here to false. And that's it for that file. This entity can now only be spawned using our fantastic little check command and can no longer be spawned from within the Q menu. On to our cl underscore init.lua file. And what we want to do in this file is we want to write some code that will display the value or amount of money that the money entity is worth right above it. And most if not all of this code should be reviewed so I'm not going to go over it too much. But first thing we want to do is create a couple of variables. Local pause is equal to self which is just the entity colon git pause. Local ang which is equal to self colon git angles. Local value equal to self colon git value. This will be how much that money entity is worth or how much is stored in it. Then we want to set up the font using surface dot set font. The font we're going to use is HUD hint text small. Then we want to create a variable for the width of the text local value width is equal to surface dot get text size takes in an argument which will be the text that we want to end up displaying above the entity which is the value and then we use cam dot start 3d 2d to begin actually drawing the amount above the entity and this will be pause plus ang colon up and then the angle and then 0 0.2 for the scale. And we want to end that off using cam.end3d2d. Then within the cam.start3d2d and the end3d2d, we, all we want to do is draw.wordbox, the border size which we'll set to 0, the x position which will be the negative value width times 0.5, the y position which I found negative 7 to work, and then the text that we want to be displayed, which will be the dollar sign, if I can find it, with the value using two dots to concatenate onto it. Then the font type, which will be HUD hint text small once again. Make sure that this is the same as what we have up here. And then the color of the background or the highlight, which will be just a dark gray. And then the font color, which we'll just set to white, like so. Now with all that done, we can head into game and test all this out. Once we're in game, if we type in the command slash drop money with a value as an argument, so let's say 10, what should happen is the money entity will spawn in front of us with the value displayed above it. And as you can see, it is set to 10. If I were to run it again, slash drop money, let's say 20. It'll spawn that with the value above it, in this case being 20. And if we click it, we'll be given however much that's worth. So in this case, it'll be 10. So my money goes from 10,440, 430 up to 10,440. And with the 20, it'll go from 40 to 60. With everything working properly, that will conclude this episode. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.